kids, welcome back to Nature's Cadence Farm. Uh, today, uh, you can see we've got our countertop in, so hopefully you watched that video. But um, there's a, a video of that. But today we're going to be working on the plumbing for the sink. You see, I've got the hole cut out here, and um, so the plumbing is going to involve uh, running the supply lines from underneath of the trailer up through the floor and the cabinet base. And then um, I've got to plumb in the supply to the dishwasher right here and the drain for the dishwasher to go, you know, out. And then um, there's also a, uh, some plumbing for the drain of the sink and um, what else? Oh, hooking up the supplies for the sink. So uh, let's get started. So what I've done is uh, gone underneath of the trailer and I kind of look, there's a stud here and then there's a floor joist that kind of runs right here. And so what I'm going to do is drill my holes for the supply over here because that's the the bay, you know, the joist bay that the supplies come underneath the floor there. And uh, so I'm going to drill two holes uh, with with this uh, flexible uh, bit, this flexi bit here. I have a three quarter on the end, which should be more than enough to get the um, to get the pecs through, and um, and then fish it on up through those holes, and and off we go. So I need to move a few things out of the way and then we'll be able to start drilling the hole in there. That should be good enough. Looks like I'll have some room. So I'm just going to start, um, yeah I'll kind of just run them side by side. But this is a green lee if you had a question about what this is. A green lee and this has the, um, the quick connect uh, bit on here and I'll show you why I kind of chose that. I'll see if I can make it work. It might not work for what I'm doing but but either way these are pretty nice because you can just buy these bits and put them on there if you uh, dull them up or I've been sharpening this one by hand which works works okay but um, they also have another attachment that's a uh, wire pulling basket so if you drill a hole through you can put that basket on there this guy right here and uh, you know you just it's a Chinese finger cuff kind of thing where it, you put your wire inside of there and then it, it clamps down but this is quick connect also so and you can also add these two together by you know taking the bit out and putting this in there so that's that's kind of a nice a nice deal I've had this a while so it is pretty durable I think I have broken one or two of them but whatever part of the deal so yeah, I'm just kind of eyeballing where I want to have this thing. I might put them over here actually a little bit. Let's do that. Here we go. Alright, so I'm through the uh, base of the cabinet now and I just tried to go straight down with this. Now I'm going to drill through the subflooring that I put in. Okay, it feels like I went through something. Let's see if we can get any further. Let me make sure I'm not drilling into my pecs down there. I gotta run outside and check that real quick. I'll be right back. Everything looks good outside. I'm already through. So I'm just gonna run the drill back and forth just to hog it out a little bit because that OSB is kind of flaky. And uh, the pipes are well out of the way, so. Oh yeah, that's great. I can see all the way through easily. So we're going to drill another hole for the uh, cold. Hot's on the left, cold's on the right. So let's, let's run another one through there. Alright, that went through well. Ah, yes, that's nice too. 
Okay, so uh, I'm gonna head down. I'm gonna head down underneath the here and uh, feed the feed the plumbing lines up. So you can see I've got the got the two lines ran up and I went ahead and did a little extra plumbing there and all that is is just the crimp stuff same things I've shown earlier but I needed that T off of there to get the um, to get the dishwasher supply line hooked up and you can see that I did and then I've got the you know continues on up up and out there to go to the sink so uh, you can also see I've put some red tape around this this edge here and I'm going to put some silicone here before I set the the sink in place and uh, what I had to do to set the sink and I'll show you when I get underneath there I had to buy these extra long uh, mounts for the the counter top because it's an inch and a half thick or so and uh, these are made for at least or maximum inch and a half thick countertop so I'll show you how these these heads go into the groove of the sink uh, underneath of it there when I get get everything going. But uh, yeah, so first uh, first thing I'm going to put the silicone down here and go ahead and set the sink into the hole because I'm kind of ready to get the um, the rest of the plumbing hooked up from the drain to the to the drain and then the the vent and all that. So uh, let's get that going. I've got the sink here and we're going to go ahead and attempt to get it in place and not disturb the silicone too much but that's why I put the tape down was to um, to help keep it clean so I can just peel the tape off and hopefully the silicone will come with it and it won't leave a bunch of mess on my countertop. Yeah, that looks wonderful. All right, now let's go underneath and um, and I'll show you how to get the clamps on there. I know it's going to be kind of tough to see, but uh, I'm going to show you here. There's a there's a little notch in the uh, in the little track up here, and the way this works is this the head of this screw actually goes into the into the track let me get it in there and I'll I'll show you what how it works That's it. there we go so then that can slide up toward the front here and stop right there and then you can see that that when it clamps down will clamp the the countertop you know nice and tight to the sink so I need to have two hands to do this. I'm going to put the camera down while I tighten everything up. Well, as you can see, I went ahead and got the uh, got the clamps hooked up for the sink to get it attached. And uh, while I was underneath of here, which would have been really hard to film, I went ahead and hooked up the supply lines from the sink down and I went ahead and you know I think that was already hooked up but uh then I went ahead and I finished up gluing I glued this coupling on and this adapter and then I went ahead and installed the the trap and this uh tail piece here that comes off of the sink and that has the little extra spout there for the dishwasher drain to hook to so um I've leak checked everything. I went ahead and put some water through the faucet and uh, you can see it kind of kind of got a little wet up here where it had some air in the lines but um but yeah so everything everything works so there's cold and and hot which I don't I don't think the hot water is on yet but this faucet's pretty nice it has this this extra sprayer option here where you push this little lever and then this comes off uh, like that so you can just 
do that or you can slide the whole thing out of the way and have a big pot in there so that was that was the idea behind all of that and um and i really liked this kind of strainer here with this this uh seals by screwing it in and uh, i thought that was a pretty nice pretty nice option i picked that up at home depot or lowe's they sell them but yeah so the install for the sink is done and um I'm really happy about that. I'm gonna let this silicone kind of set up a little bit or along this edge, and then I'll I'll I can run a little razor right along the edge and then pull the tape up and I won't have to worry about cleaning up any silicone. Or at least I hope I won't have to worry about cleaning up any silicone. But yep, it looks good. Alright guys, well thanks for watching and uh hope you learned something it wasn't much but uh at least that's what i did to get the sink installed so um we'll see you next time Looks like my head's cut off.